Okay, I wanted to show you some flashcard apps that are available for the for the iPad, and I presume also for the for the iPhone. Um, on my blog, I, I talked a little bit about some some Android flashcard apps that are available. Um, so I thought I'd show you some available for the for the iPad. Um, we're going to look at it two today, um, and one of them is called I think Flashcards Lite, and the other one's called Flashcards HD. Um, I'll have to check that in a moment. Um, okay, let's have a look around and see. Ah, there we go. Yeah, the first one is this this Flashcards Lite, um, and you can see here are some selections of flashcards that that can be looked at. Um, here are some some clothing ones for for English students. Basically, if the flashcards come up, you tap on it, um, and it will show the the picture. You can click whether it's correct or not, and then it will give you a a score at the end. Nothing much more than that, to be honest with you. Um, this one is is limited because it's free to what you can do with it. The other good thing, though, you can download from the Quizlets website, which has a, a large selection of of flashcard lists to to download, and you can you can do this by uh, search. So I just typed in ESL here, um, and then and then found some suitable lists. This one was about cooking, um, and a lot of the lists have have pictures with them, which make it easy. Um, and, and a bit more fun and interesting and there you go you can see some of those here um, it's not a super exciting app um, there's not many features or functions to it there's not much you can you can adjust or, or change about it um, but it's sort of neat and easy I think you're kind of limited the, to the number of decks you can you can download and also um, the amount of cards you can create on the app itself and um, that's because you're you're playing you're using the the free one Okay, let's switch over quickly to the other one. Ah, that's it. It's called Flashcards Plus, um, the HD version. This one is a lot more attractive, and um, but again, because this is the free version, there are limits on the number of decks you can have. I think you can only have three, as far as I remember. Um, you can see it's, it's a bit more sophisticated, a few more features, um, and the the overall aesthetic is is a lot more pleasing. Um, and there's a nice way of, of indicating whether you know or don't know something by putting them into these boxes um, you know by drag and dropping them in there and once you've finished all of them it will then um, give you some statistics about about what you've done um, you know I, I quite like this um, but as I say you're limited to, to three and you you do have to pay I can't remember what it is but about like four pounds or something or four dollars at least for the for the full app um, I'm really not sure it's it's worth it. Um, I would probably stick with the with the free one and just limit the number of of decks of cards I have. You can see here that it's, it's compiling some nice statistics, and then there are some sort of planned tests for you over the over the next couple of days to to work on. So you know, there's 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 a lot there. Um, um, yeah, but uh, but yeah, you you would probably um, get a bit limited in terms of what you can do with it. Um, and here I'm I'm trying to add another deck, but I don't think I had I had too many already. Um, but what you can do, um, similar to the other website, you can also uh, download from the Quizlets um, website, and this again means you can access all these all these online lists. Um, you know, and you can make your list yourselves on the website, and then and then just find the the lists and and download them to your to your iPad or your or your iPhone. Again, here I'm I'm finding some of them, and uh, these are some adjectives about people. There we go. Downloads, and you can go to them. If you click on them, there we go. And we go to the test, and and you can start doing the same as as with the previous bunch of cards. I'm not sure how useful these ones are. These pictures are not terribly uh, useful in in clarifying what these words mean. That could be soldier. There you go. So yeah, you know, as as you can see, these are two different apps are available. There may be some others. But again, these are these are two free ones. I wasn't willing to pay for the for the upgraded versions until I knew what they were like. I'm still not sure I would pay for the upgraded versions. I'm not sure these flashcard apps are really are really worth the, the 
you know, even the one pounds or two pounds or three pounds you're going to pay for them. Um, you know, they, they do very simple things. Um, but you know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, however, what I would like to quickly show you also is the is the Quizlets website. Um, so if you do use these, you you know how to create quizzes um, and lists to, to download to your to your computer. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is the the Quizlets website, which I think is is actually a really nice website and a and a, and a good way to create um, lists of vocabulary to download to your mobile phone or to your iPad and create flashcards that can then be imported into these various apps that that you can get for for either free or to buy on on these different devices. Um, yeah, you need to sign up for this, and then when you've signed up, you can go to your kind of uh, dashboard which shows you all of your lists of, of vocabulary either ones you've created or ones that you've been studying um, over here um, there is for example David Reed's Russian vocab list that was one that that I made it only has got two words in and you can see the list and you can just click on one side to get the the other side's definition and then go from one to the other you can do learning or testing and there's also a couple of of games that you can play. There's this kind of scatter game where you have to make things disappear by matching them up. So, for example, you have to put the word in the other word together. Um, here, not terribly extensive because there's only two words on the list. Um, let's go back to the dashboard. Um, but you could obviously play that with with a larger number of words. Um, and it keeps together statistics and and various information about about what you've done. You can also create your own um, flashcards as well. Um, so you can you can make flashcards, and on this page you can you can create them. Let's just say ESL animals um, subjects um, ESL. Um, oh no, there we go. Let's say ESL vocabulary. These are like tags. Um, and then you put in the term um, uh, dog four legged four legged um, animal mammal friend friend to humans not the best definition in the world but you can add all those together and then it, it creates a set. I think you can also add images as well. Um, obviously for, for very physical things that's obviously a good thing to do. Um, and then you just kind of create the set. Oh, it says you must have two words. Let's say cat, four-legged, less friendly animal. Oh. There we go. Great. And now I've created my own little one. Okay, and you can check that. Okay, and so then that's been added to my list. So, you know, you can also just just search for um, flashcards. So again, you can do an ESL search, and you find lots of of lists to look through. You can obviously filter that and make it make it better, but you know, here's some examples. Okay, there we go. You can go through. As you say, there's, a, there's some different games you can play with this. Um, yeah, and they show you the whole list on the page as well. So yeah, um, um, a, a nice website. I think you can also create kind of groups. Um, you know, for your students, let's say you want to create a, a private list of of vocabulary from your classes you can do that then they log on and they need a password to get in to find the lists however i think if if students need to download them to an to an app then you have to make them public um to be honest i don't see much point in making them private i mean these are just lists of vocabulary um but i can understand maybe that some some teachers want to do that but if they're going to use them on their phones or mobile devices then then they need to be publicly searchable for them to download them so yeah, it's it's certainly take worth taking a look. You know, if you're into to learning languages, 
and and if you're a teacher thinking of of creating word lists for students that they can they can access in different ways this might be something worth looking at i think